All right, today I'm going to just do a quick walkthrough of this Tentec Titan 425S um, power supply. Um, power supply only. Um, I bought this off of eBay many moons ago um, and just now had a uh, project where I could use it and um, everything worked on it. And this was an originally made as part of the uh, Tentec 425 amplifier. The RF deck uh, on that amp looks really cool. Lots of meters and lights and all that. And it ran two 3CX800 um, tubes in that amp. Um, the 3CX800 tubes is a great tube. But however, they're uh, very hard to get. Almost unobtainium. Very expensive um, to find a pair of 3CX800. So... A lot of people convert those amps into something else or abandon the amp because um, a lot of times getting the tubes um, is um, costs more than the amp is worth. Um, they're that expensive. But anyway, this is the uh, power supply, which is a nice power supply even without the uh, RF deck of the amp. It runs on... Um, 2.6 kilovolts and it provides 1.5 amps CCS commercial um, service or continuous commercial service so um, it could run, run 1.5 amps put a brake on it and it run it all day it's not ICAS uh, intermittent um, service where you can't uh, lock it down so this is the insides of it and you can see that big bad transformer there that's um, a hyper seal I don't think it was a Peter Dahl I think they said Tentec um, designed to amplify the um, transformer themselves or made the, uh, the transformer and it doesn't have any Peter Dahl markings on it but that's a beast there and that's why you can uh, key this thing down at a um, couple KW's all day long right um, and here's the uh, capacitor bank. Use this screw in computer grade Mallory capacitors. And this amp isn't 50 years old, so those capacitors are not old and dried up and needed replacement. Everything tested good. And um, there's the diode bank. And um, I'm not sure it has step start or soft start, but you know, diode bank, lip glitch resistor, and the low voltages are down on that board there um, you got fuses in the back and the high voltage out and you also have a 9 pin Molex plug there and that plug uh, connected to the amp and had voltages to turn it on and operate and all that stuff is what fired up this power supply but since I don't have the amp and I didn't feel like dealing with that plug and all that um, so I just um, put in this switch here which uh, turns on the amp directly and that light so I know the amp is on um, because it's not good to you know have a uh, two three kilovolts laying around and not knowing for sure if your uh, amp is on or not so if we put the light on there too to indicate it where if it was hooked to the um, amplifier, the amplifier would have had the lights and the metering and the voltage meter and all that other stuff on the um, on the amplifier deck. But anyway, so we can use it as a standalone and just plug it in and hit that um, power switch there. One thing you don't want to do is power this power supply with the cover off, like I got the cover off now. Here's a crowbar um, safety uh, switch which basically you take the when you put the cover on the cover pushes down on that and lifts that arm off the high voltage that's the high voltage out right so when you take that cover off this just falls down just gravity and it uh, connects to the high voltage there and it shorts out the high voltage so if we um, try to power this amp up with the cover off uh, that would short out the high voltage, but also it's another safety switch. This is just a little micro switch interlock that you also take the cover off the um, power going to the relay to turn this thing on. This switch goes to the 
uh, relay coil so you can't power this up also with the um, cover off because it opens this switch here you close the switch and now you'll be able to power it on and also uh, you can't power it on because of the interlock so that's your two safety features to try to keep people from killing themselves because of course this thing is lethal and even amateur radios who's supposed to be you know kind of experts um, number to, the number one killer in ham radio is uh, two-piece amplifiers like this where you know the um, the deck and the power supply are separate so uh, anybody have a two-piece be careful with that as many people and even a couple CBers that I knew or knew of have died you know playing around with an amplifier that's connected and you know the uh, high voltage screws in here and you know something comes loose and they got it all plugged in and, and pushed in and they reach behind it and start playing around with them loose connections and um, that high voltage gets them and um, it kills them lethal dead so anyway um, I like this little power supply uh, very nice and I got a few projects that this will work on so um, unless somebody makes me a heck of an offer I'm keeping this one and I'm not big on selling anymore anyway I got got again um, by somebody I thought was my friend you know uh, uh, one of them people I never met but we've been talking and doing stuff for many many years and they got me so tram doctor ain't in a selling mood no more anyway so that's this one just a walkthrough on my uh, Tentec 425S um, power supply only. Bye.